Hi guys, hope you are doing well and staying safe. Uh, over the last 150 days or so, a lot of things have changed, our lives have changed, uh, newer perspectives have come, newer thoughts have come and new normal has come, right? So uh, that's one of the reasons why I am coming in video. I've been writing quite a lot on various digital platforms, social platforms, but uh, thought the time has actually come to come online and then, you know, do something for the general public and for the students especially. This has been in my mind for quite a long time and I think the time has come now to finally set into this venture. So I thank you all for supporting all along, uh, following my writings and things like that. But now I think we'll slowly migrate it to the video mode. Last one week or so, over the last few weeks, uh, rather I should say, there's been a lot of discussions, debates, opinions, controversies about one particular topic which I thought is very very close to me. I have a lot of uh, opinions, a lot of expert talks have also happened across all media. If you look at print, if you look at digital, if you look at in, uh, television, there has been one topic that's going around everywhere. Yes, you guessed it right. It's National Education Policy 2020. Now there has been a lot of experts opinion about this trying to decode what this national education policy is all about. Now, that's exactly what I'm, I'll be doing from now on. For the next few videos, we'll be decoding national education policy at length, which can be understood by a common man, more importantly, from a parent's perspective, from an academic's perspective, and also from a student's perspective. There has been a lot of uncertain corridors in the minds of everybody about this national education policy whether it's good bad ugly great game changer lot of things it took a while i understand that it's been over 15 20 days since this policy got launched but it took a while for me to read the policy completely and give an unbiased approach towards what this national education policy is all about over the next few videos we will continue to do this before we get on with what this national education policy is all about, let us look at a very small history of what this NEP, from now on we call it as NEP. Now this is the third NEP that has come into scene. The first national education policy came under late Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi and then the second national education policy came under the Prime Ministership of late Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. It got a very small correction during 1992 under Mr. late P.V. Narasimha Rao. But then after a whole lot of 36 years, the third national policy has been launched very recently, last month under the Prime Ministership of Mr. Narendra Modi. Now whether this is going to be a game changer, whether this is going to be going to sweep the Indian education system completely is something a time will tell because a lot of things depends upon the execution of this particular policy. So time will definitely answer a lot of things but at the same time it is, it is very very perennial and important that we decode lot of things and demystify a lot of things that is going around with this national education policy. We will see in parts from now on how it has impacted education at different levels, be it schools, be it colleges, be it higher education and universities, be it international education. So we will see in parts from now on, right? So thank you once again for watching this video. We will see very soon see you in the next video. Thank you so much.